thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Let's dive right into today's Tattle Taurus. There we have it. And your first card out, Taurus, is the Three of Earth, hoping to be able to work on something. Now, this might be a startup venture, something that you are busy working on. And what it actually is, Taurus, is something that is going to create um, some kind of inner healing. You are hoping that with this project that you have in, in mind, that it is able to progress from the ace to the two, to becoming something that is recognized. What's ruling your mind space at the moment, Taurus, is your soul path. It's about finding yourself, accepting yourself for who you are, and being able to extend that love and compassion you have to others. It's talking about maybe having to make a choice. We could be referring to a Gemini. In your fears is this same project, something that appeals to your sense of creativity. It is something that sits now in your fears. And why it sits there, Taurus, is because you are fearing that this new project is going to require you to balance more than one responsibility at the same time. Now, Taurus, your current energy is asking that of you, of being able to understand that you are capable of so much and you are testing your limits, finding what it is you are capable of and saving that information so that you can use it for what is to come. Now this particular project, startup business, whatever it is you're working on, relates to memories you may have had with someone in the past. We're talking about soulmate energy, soul family, someone you might have known growing up, Taurus. And what you don't see is this, is your wish fulfillment. It's hidden from view, Taurus. Now, you in your current energy, wow, you've come up as the sun before. Now, Taurus, this talks about whatever it is you're working on, success, being able to radiate happiness, having found the peace from within you to be able to extend that to others. Wow. And not just extending it to others, Taurus. You are leading with it. Not just being able to transform your creative project to the seven, but doing it from a place of compassion. Leading with that compassion. It's, it's all good and well to talk about being compassionate. Actually being compassionate, Taurus, The energy that's balancing you currently, Taurus, is the Queen of Fire. This is a queen that doesn't allow anything to stand in her way. She will forge ahead, fearless of what stands before her. And this is the energy that is being created in your mind space. Wow with the star and the sun in your current environment. Now, Taurus, we could be talking about an Aquarius, but this same project that's sitting in your mind space as a fear has some kind of special significance. It possibly creates a special kind of healing. Now, this could be you, Taurus, 
having wished upon a star. And in your current environment, Taurus, there is a feeling of having a bruised heart because of all of the things that you need to juggle. It is creating some kind of sadness within you, having to juggle more than one responsibility. We'll find out why, Taurus. All I can tell you is that it's a very significant time for you. Now what you should know, Taurus, is that this energy is coming up for a special reason in your current environment. It is to be able to heal whatever conflict you felt from within is going to be able to use that energy to create the healing that's required. Now this is a part of your soul family, Taurus. With the Six of Water, we could be talking about one individual, someone you might have grown up with, someone you knew when you were younger, maybe even someone you knew a few months ago, someone you had a special connection with, Taurus. And what you don't know is that when the cycle changes, it's going to feel as though it's changed in your favor. Now, Taurus, this has come out more than once in your reading. Whatever it is you are working on, persevere. Something extremely important is contained within what it is you are creating. Something significant. And I can see with your energy as the Queen of Fire, being fearless, not allowing anything to hinder you on your path. Now, what brought you here, Taurus? Wow, from one extreme to the other. It is only when humanity is taken to the absolute edge that we are willing to make a change. And here with the Ten of Air, being at the very edge of your mind in the past, and it is within the space that you were able to create your oasis in your current environment, Taurus. A place where you can find peace, a place where you can give peace. You might have received some kind of message. from someone who loves you. Now this happened in the past, Taurus, and contained within this message were fears, maybe the King of Water's own fears. The energy taking you forward is one of intense healing. Now Taurus, whatever it is you are creating, you are in a place that is well away, away from the general public. It might be, you might be closed off for the winter or the summer. Maybe you're experiencing bad weather. But here's that star you are creating, Taurus, with the nine of fire, being able to progress that from the seven to the nine. This is definitely a card of protectiveness of being able to create something and being given the time in which to do it. Something important within your creation. And Taurus, now you might be experiencing the Ten of Wands currently. You might be dropping things. And that just is just the energy of you being able to let go of some of the things that weigh you down whether it be in your physical environment or in your mind space. Here, it tells me that going forward, you are able to recognize your strength. Having the heart of a lion. Wow. And Taurus, the road to where you are going is not without 
heartbreak. It's not without happiness. It's a combination of all of those things with the nine of earth. This is talking about single energy and with the strength ahead of it. Knowing that you have the strength to move ahead even if you have to do it alone, Taurus, with the nine of earth. And what you should know is that there will be recognition with the with the six of fire. We could be talking about some kind of fame, understanding what takes us to the edge of our minds and what is hidden to us is a different perspective. Now, in your last reading, or one of your last readings, you were afraid to be focused on recognition and going forward and where this tattle is headed, is that you look at it differently. And that is what brings you wish fulfillment. Now, Taurus, you've got things hidden in your present environment, in your current environment, in your current energy, that... You are not seeing clearly. You have the energy of love and you feel it in being able to extend it. Now, in your outcome, Taurus, and, and you're not going to understand it just yet, is a complete and utter change. Can I just try to focus a little? with the tower with the tower it's putting an end to all of this pain and disappointment going to the edge of your mind and not knowing what exists on the other side all of that is about to change completely Taurus it's going to happen suddenly it's going to be shocking to your senses because you're not going to expect it. You're possibly in a bubble not realizing that magic exists. Wow. And that takes you straight into the Five of Earth, Taurus. Now this could be feelings of lack, of having the potential of being able to understand what it is we have in our current environment of being able to recognize it this could be you moving home to us and the energy that's balancing you is slow moving finances something that's taking forever to change to reciprocity, Taurus. And as it appears in the physical world, an epiphany with the hanging man, something that you're going to look at differently, maybe understanding what strength truly is. And with the three of fire, being able to Proceed with what it is independently, Taurus. So there might be something that you are working on independently, something that you are transforming currently, turning pain and turning it into creation. And what's crowning you and what's under the deck is justice, a complete balance of the scales, understanding that you are not alone, Taurus, not in the way you think, not in the way that you feel, that we all have aspects within us that we are proud of, that we are ashamed of. Imagine a world where we can be unashamedly ourselves, accepted for who we truly are, without having to hide I wish you all the best, Taurus. Until your next tattle, bye for now.